So for a little demonstration of my rainwater harvest system here, what I've got is each of my gutters around my house, each of my downpipes have a rain collection system on it, harvester, and what happens is when it rains, the water flows through the harvester into this pipe that I've cut down below it. The reason I've had to cut that pipe is because if I was to run a single pipe straight from the harvester to the collection tank, there wouldn't be enough pressure in that water coming through to be able to push itself over to the rainwater tank. So what happens is that pipe will fill up to the top and it'll have enough pressure on it to be able to push itself down and flow over here to the rainwater collection tank. So currently I've got the tap on for a demonstration and I've got it inside of one of these pipes and I'll show you what's going on at the other end. <clears throat> so this is the other end, so one of these pipes, this pipe, is currently emptying into the collection tank. Um, the collection tank has to be below ground um, because obviously the gravity needs to take the water here. Um, I wouldn't be able to make the water go up into the big 1000 litre IBC. So what happens is all the water from all the sources flows into here. There is actually a filter that I've got on it too, which I've taken out for demonstration. And what happens is that little probe there that I've zoomed into, when the water fills up and hits that probe, see there's three probes there, the water, the pump in the, in the, in the basin there will turn on. And the pump I got wasn't strong enough to pump the water about two meters up the top of the IBC. So I ended up having to buy a booster pump, a little 12 volt booster pump here, which gives it enough power to pump it up. So as you can hear now, it's just turned itself on because it's hit the, prop, hit the top probe. And you can probably hear it filling up the IBC. Um, so what will happen is it'll drain itself out. The pump will stay on until it hits the bottom probe. And then, and then all the water gets pumped up into the IBC up here. And if the IBC fills right up too high, I've got an outlet drainage pipe here, which takes all the excess, and that works its way all the way back to the down pipes and down into the normal drainage system. Yeah, so as you can hear, it's currently filling. And obviously there's a few bits of wood just to, you know, to put on the top of this to cover it up. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. So, yep.